Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I look crazy, I feel crazy, I definitely feel like I'm getting sick. My throat is really bothering me, but the merit sale is coming in case you did not hear. I figured this is the perfect kind of makeup routine. I personally do on days where I'm not feeling great, like I'm just, you know, whether I'm sick or I'm not feeling life, or I'm just in a complete and utter rush to just throw a little bit of makeup on, look like myself, but like 25 times better because that's literally what this makeup does for me. It just makes me look like myself, but elevated. It's quick, it's easy, it's really foolproof. I am the biggest fan of Merit. I do have an affiliate link. However, this video is not sponsored. I've been working with them for two years and I would never work with a brand that I didn't love. And I gotta be honest, every single product that I have personally tried from Merit, I have absolutely fallen in love with. There's maybe one product that we will try today where I will say, like, I don't really think you necessarily need this. I will offer you dupes in case it's a little bit out of your price range, but the Merit sale is coming. I got a flyer in the mail the day before my sister-in-law actually texted me to tell me that Merit was having a sale. So it's a 20% off sale. It's happening November 18th to the 21st. Code is just private 20. I'll put it here on the screen. And being that I am an affiliate, I would really, really, appreciate it if you would shop my link. I don't make any money off of you, but just shopping through my link, Merit will give me a bit of a commission for anything that you purchase, and I greatly appreciate your support in anything and everything, whether it's watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, sharing them, or shopping my affiliate links. I'm running out of daylight, but that shouldn't be a problem because guys, this makeup, perfect for those of you who are in a rush, on the go, don't have the time. Like this is just foolproof makeup. It's clean beauty, which I love, and everything is so creamy and emollient, and it's just so flattering on any skin type, whether you're young, middle-aged, old, it just like, it all juices up the skin and it makes it look fantabulous. I can't even tell, I can't even see what I look like right now, and I feel like I look crazy. Yeah, she looks crazy. Anyway, I have a few Merit lip products, but I'm gonna be honest, the one that I use the least, All Natural Tinted Lip Oil, it's just not my favorite lip oil. I really like the Dior lip oil, which is super bougie, a lot more expensive, but if you're looking for something that's more budget friendly, I really, really love the NYX fat oils right here. I love them so much, they're always around me. But just for a little bit of hydration, I am gonna throw this on my lips. It gives a nice tint. And I honestly, I just, I feel like it's very thin for an oil. And when I reach for a product like this, I want something that is more of a gel-like consistency. The color is beautiful. It doesn't not feel nice on the lips. Personally, like something a little bit thicker, but it literally looks like my lips, but better. This has a bit of an orangey brown tone to it. And I can go over my lip line to kind of just make my lips look a little plumper and it doesn't make them look crazy. This is the Instant Glow Serum. Now, I use this a number of ways. I don't wake up in the morning, wash my face, and apply this as serum. I will use this to add a bit of hydration before I work out. So in the morning, if I do my new face device, I'll use my Peter Thomas Roth mask. You guys know my routine, but when I wash that mask off, if I need a little bit of hydration to my skin and I'm gonna go work out, I just want something that's light and refreshing and hydrating. So I will take two squirts of this, rub it into my skin, and it kind of just acts as a really light dry oil. I think it's beautiful. I've had this face cream on for quite a few hours today. I've been bare faced. I just woke up, washed my face and put a little bit of Tatcha water cream. So, but I also just want to bring attention to the fact that it is kind of messy. Like, I don't know if you could see the droplets that are forming on the applicator. It doesn't bother me, but do be mindful. It's a thin oil and it kind of just like leaks. So make sure you store it standing up and always put the lid on top of it. Don't, I wouldn't like lay this down in a drawer just so we're all safe. So I will take two pumps of this, the lightest oil. Like, I don't know if you could see, I'm definitely gonna get this all over me, but it's like almost like water. I'm gonna pat this into my skin and think of this as, you know when your skin's dry and you go to put some makeup on and you just wanna dampen it a little bit? And to dampen it, you could use like MAC Fix Plus or just like a makeup setting spray. I kind of just use this to like lightly rehydrate my face before going in with any foundation or concealer. It doesn't really smell like anything, which I love. I bring it down the neck. I do notice that it helps the perfecting sticks, which I don't have in front of me, but I will insert a clip here of me using them. I have the shade Linen and Dune, and I'm just gonna use Dune. I'm gonna pick it up with a Sephora 57 brush right from the stick and I'm just gonna do one half of my face and I'm gonna use this like I would a concealer. Get rid of the redness around my mouth, in the center of my face. I'm gonna put this wherever I need a little bit of coverage. This can move 
if you apply too much product. So I'm trying to be weary of how much I'm applying. Put some underneath the lip. Okay, can you see this half of my face is just covered and a little bit brighter, but it still looks natural. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. And I've been using them for like a year and a half, two years now. It's one of the first products that Merit ever sent me. It is so beautiful because it is really a foundation slash a concealer and the way that it just glides across the skin and it looks like skin. It's such an interesting product. Super, super creamy, super emollient. I find that Merit's cream products are so creamy and emollient and just like a pleasure to blend. Great skin serum definitely helps those perfect sticks glide across the face. I'm sorry that I don't have them in front of me. I leave them at work because every weekday when I go into the office, I'm going to open up a Celsius here in hopes that this will make me feel better. When I go into the office during the weekdays, I leave a travel bag in my work desk and I leave a bunch of Merit products in there and I'm missing a few of them. I think I'm missing, I'm missing the Perfecting Sticks. I own the shade Linen and Dune. And I'm also missing Beverly Hills, the blush that you guys have seen me use so many times here on my channel. It is my favorite blush shade that Merit has. It is one of their OG shades and also their mascara, which I love. I love my Lancome Lash Adult better, but the Merit one is a beautiful, clean mascara. It is the best clean mascara I've ever used. If you have not tried, the cola one, holy crap, it tastes like flat coke and I live for flat coke. Because I am just unprofessional and ill-prepared, I'm just gonna use Dior Forever Skin Concealer to just use on the center of my face to just act as a base. I'm not gonna be using foundation, but like I said, if you search my channel, which I'll put a little clip to show you how you can search my videos that I've uploaded. Like I've been using Merit for years and there are so many videos on my channel of me using Merit. You know, I wanted to give my updated, elevated kind of like review here today. I just always want to like revisit things, update you guys, but I never like necessarily revisit Merit. Merit is always in my skincare routine and it's just perfect for those of you who want a very natural kind of makeup look. However, even for those of you who like to do a full face V, their bronzer is beautiful. Like you can incorporate their products into a more full face kind of makeup routine. And I hope that that makes sense. So I know I didn't apply the perfecting sticks. I will say that you don't need to powder them to set the perfecting sticks if you use only a small amount. I personally like to powder. I just, I'm a powder kind of gal. I like the way that powder brightens up my under eyes. It just gives a, an extra bit of brightening under the eyes, which I'm a big fan of. But I, there have been days where I've just been lazy and I don't powder and the perfecting sticks don't really move into the fine lines too badly. They will move if you have lines they will settle into the lines but it's not bad at all and it's really not noticeable this is a recent find from merit clay bronzing balm i love this i love that it comes in a stick so i kind of just use this as a contour and a bronzer and i will just put it in the sections of my face that I would think that the sun would hit naturally, but also anywhere that I want to add a little bit of definition. So my cheekbones under my jaw, like so, and I will bring it up a little bit because I don't have a very prominent jawline. And even I put some in here just to give a little bit of definition into the crease. This is great. It has a swivel stick. Like I said, like when I was putting this on my skin, you can tell it doesn't pull the skin. It glides so beautifully across the skin. Their cream products are really like top tier. I really enjoy this bronzing stick and this is me not talking poorly about it. I think that this is the reason why Merit is so so foolproof is the fact that it's pigmented but it's not too pigmented so i always use a brush to blend out merit products because a sponge will take away too much of the product and not leave you with and i want to use a denser brush i like this brush this is the unstoppable powder by it cosmetics personally with merit i prefer a more denser brush like this this is from yensa and i just i want to show you like how quickly this blends into the skin and just like how natural it is like i literally am just gonna look like myself at the end of this but maybe after a nice juicy facial like it just it takes your skin and like elevates it to a whole other level i love that merit is all about minimalism getting you in and out to just get on with your day i do love to sit down and do my makeup on date nights like the weekends i really look forward to it an everyday routine for me i'm just in and out and i want to be done and i just think that this speaks it just speaks to the people and i love the branding and it's just simple because if i feel like i don't have enough on one side you just go back in you can play with it and again because it is like so not 
to pigment in. It's really friendly. You don't have to take a lot of time to blend. It blends right in. If you put too much on, you can use a finger and just take some away. And can you see it gives a very natural sun-kissed glow. That serum added a nice glow. Can you see that natural highlight? It's just really good. And can you see how that looks so natural? Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup, but you know, because you clearly saw, I went from ghostly to a little bit of a bronze. I have a plethora of Merit's blushes. I love them all. Okay, I have Terracotta, which I used as a bronzer shade for the longest time. She's decrepit, like this is really old. And if you look really close, like that's kind of gross, but there's like brush hairs in there from me smacking my brush into it. But I used to use this as a bronzer until they came out with the bronzing stick. This is still a nice color for me, terracotta as a bronzer. However, the stick is just like you saw, one, two, three done. It's just so convenient. So honestly, I love the bronzing stick. I think it's one of the best products that they've come out with, but I will apply this on the back of my hand. Terracotta, it has you know, that terracotta, like bronzy orange shade you can blend it out. Very blendable, has a little bit of a gleam to it. So it helps your skin to look alive. This is their old packaging. So, you know, I've had this for a really long time. So that's terracotta. This is a darker shade, which I've been loving now that it is fall winter. It doesn't apply dark on the skin. Like, can you see? It's just, it's a lot lighter on the skin than it is in the pan. There's something so sophisticated and like mature about it. I'm such a fan and you can use these on your lips as well. I definitely do. Um, I'll just add a little bit here but it just adds a little bit of blush. I throw them in the lid, which I'm gonna show you. So beautiful shade, one of my favorites. This is Persimmon, and I think it's a little bit underrated, honestly. Oh, this was my favorite shade over the summer. This is in Stockholm. This is another one of their more recent colors, but this is just all the rage. Like this is like your baby bubblegum pink, sun-kissed, beautiful glowy. They're all so good. Pigmentation is there, but again, if you put too much on, it easily blends into the skin. It juices up the skin. It gives you a little bit of hydration, which who doesn't love that? I'm going to go ahead and apply persimmon because I just think that she needs a moment. So how I like to apply this is with a dome brush and I like to go directly into the blush. You can draw it on your cheeks. I do do that when I'm at the office during the week. So I'll draw it on my cheek and then blend it out with a brush. But I just think like you get more control this way in terms of how much you apply. Again, if you apply too much though, it's okay. Throw some in the crease. This kind of just ties everything together and helps to structure the face without doing really much of anything, just like that. See how that just adds a little bit of definition to the eye. And again, it's just like one, two, three, easy makeup. I like to apply it with a brush just because again, I find like you can control more of how much product you're putting on. You can also control where it's going. I find that during the week when I take Beverly Hills and I throw it one, two, three on my cheeks like that, sometimes it goes a little too low just because you're putting on more product. So when I blend it out, it tends to go a little lower on the cheeks, which isn't a problem because again, you just take your finger and kind of go like that. But if I can avoid adding a step or even like something that takes 10 seconds, why not? And I'm gonna take some and put it over the nose, just like that. It reminds me, and I've never skied before, but for some reason it gives me like, I just got off the slopes kind of a vibe. I don't know. Like it looks like I just was sweating going down the mountain. I don't know. I can aspire in my head to be that person. I will never ski. I'm too scared. I like my feet on the ground and I feel like everyone breaks themselves and I will definitely shatter my entire being if I were to ever ski. For sure. Highlighting balm in Kava. It's nice. It's beautiful. I just, again, I think with the great skin serum, not only this serum, but your own serum, your own kind of like hydrating routine. I don't like a highlighter. I like a glow from within. And that's not to say that this doesn't achieve that because it is so beautiful. It reminds me of Glazed Donut by Ofra. Do we remember that shade? Oh my God. What a throwback. But it's really emollient, very creamy. I like that it comes in a stick. However, I don't apply it from the stick. This can pick up any of the makeup that you've put on your face already so it can move the foundation, anything else that you've put on. So I like to pick it up with my finger like this and just tap, tap. And I always put it on my brow bone just right here. So can you see right here? So if you're into a highlight, like that's fun. But again, I kind of just prefer this more than I prefer this. But if you're into this, like this is great. I do like to put it on my cupid's bow because I find that that just kind of makes my lips look a little bit bigger. Like to put it here. I do enjoy a highlight on my nose here because I do have a bump. So I find that this part of my nose looks like it sits 
further back because of that bump. So by bringing it forward, it kind of evens my nose slope out. So that's why I like it. And you can even put some in here. It's just a very natural kind of makeup look. I think my favorite product from Merit is the Merit 1980 Brow Gel. Anyone that mentions Merit to me and asks me what they should get, I always say this, but it is just a tinted brow gel. I don't appreciate how little product you get in here, but when I tell you that this brow product is unlike any other product, it just lifts your brows, it tints them, but it makes them look so natural. Like it looks like your brows, but better. And I have never experienced anything like this. If you watch my channel, you do know that I love the Essence Make Me Brow, which is $3. It's so good. And honestly, I think that that one's my favorite to be honest, but this has lash growth serum in it. And you know, I've been on a mission to help grow my brows. I'm trying to embrace the bushy brows that I once had. So I do love that putting this on. I know that there is a little bit of treatment to my brow hairs that is being had. Also like this just looks the most natural. I can't explain it. And like anyone who is not into brows, who doesn't fill their brows in, honestly, my sister comes to mind when I say that. In the beginning, I feel like she had to get used to it, but she hated when I would fill her brows in because she just thought they looked like too much. This will never look like too much. And I can just keep going and going and going and going and adding and adding and adding and I don't know what it is, but between the formula and the bristles in this wand, I just don't feel like it will ever deposit too much. It is a staple. I use this every day, whether I use it by itself, like I just did right now, or I apply this and use a little bit of a brow pencil after. I don't have mascara, but I am the biggest fan of Mara Mascara. You know, I'm super picky with my mascaras. A lot of mascaras that people love, rave, speak highly about, I don't like them. But my very few favorites include Lancome Lashy Doll, Merit's Clean Beauty Mascara that I don't have and the Maybelline Sky High. And those have been my three go-to die-hard mascaras. Today, I'm just gonna use my little trial size of Lancome Lashy Doll just to add a little bit of lift and color. I have two lipsticks by Merit. My first one ever is Baby, which is this very neutral, your lips but better. You can throw this on with a lip liner, without a lip liner. It's just such an easy go-to. It's pinky, but like the more you apply it, the darker that it gets. It's not like a dark color, but it's definitely like, I would say a more mature lipstick. It doesn't last very long, I will say that, but that tends to be the case with hydrating lip products, unless of course you're using something that is like a jelly oil, like a Dior oil or a NYX oil. They definitely do last longer. I would say it probably lasts for like two hours. If you're eating, forget it, it'll be gone. So just know that if you buy this lipstick, you're gonna have to reapply. So this is in the shade Baby, and I also have the shade Aperitif. It's a really, really pretty red, kind of like an orangey, easy kind of red. And I say easy because it's not a matte red. I feel like matte reds are really bold. I'm gonna take off the lip oil, but again, this is an all natural, and I'm gonna apply Aperitif. I love how bright it is. Like, honestly, did you see how that just brightened my complexion? It doesn't make my teeth look yellow. Very pretty, super comfortable. When I think of Merit in my head, I think of Easy Breezy, and this is a pretty Easy Breezy red. Like you definitely don't need to line your lips. I think just like in my brain, when I personally think of a red lip, I think of like having to overline the lips. I don't know, I think it's a me thing and I need to let it go. It looks so natural, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, it's red. So you can obviously tell that I'm wearing lipstick. It's not like natural in the sense that it's like, oh, is she wearing lipstick? Is she wearing makeup? Like my face looks really natural. It looks very juicy, very dewy. The lip you can obviously tell. It's definitely an easy wearable red. Tone goes beautifully with the blush beautifully with the bronzing stick. Their products hit every single mark for me and I'm such a big fan. I know you're probably dying to see the more neutral shade, so I'm gonna put Baby on. So let's take this off. I love how creamy the formula is. I love how comfortable it is. I applied a pretty thick layer and it definitely goes from like your lips but better to like a more kind of like moody, mauve grungy shade, at least in my opinion. I don't know, let me know what you think. I definitely wanted to mention some items that I would really like to purchase 
during the sale and they are amazing gifts. Honestly, if I got this as a gift, I would be so excited, but they came out with this set that comes with a brow. So the brow 1980 gel that I mentioned to you guys, but that one's neutral. So it's no shade, clear brow gel. There's no color to it. They also came out with their signature lip liner. It's a sheer lip liner, brownish, taupey shade. I'm intrigued. Just the fact that they don't have a lip liner sold separately. And this is the only way I can get my hands on the lip liner. Kind of want to get the set. Solo shadow in the color lace, but it's like the perfect kind of like neutral. All their products are matte. Like there's no shimmer in their products, but just the way that it marinates into the skin, it gives like a sheen to the skin. It, it kind of has like a sheen look to it. Also comes with a small instant glow serum, which I think is great for on the go on days where you're just feeling dry, especially in the winter. I think that would be super, super handy. Just take a little bit of that and just press it into your skin. Also comes with a mini clean lash lengthening tubing mascara. I forgot to mention that the mascara is tubing. It really does elongate the lashes. It gives you so much length, which is what I live for. Like I love a lengthy mascara more than I love a voluminous, voluminous mascara. I really just wanted to mention these solo shadows. Warm beige, that is Vanchetta mid-century is a beautiful warm brown. Honestly, I think that might be the color that I would pick. I also really love the deep brown. Like that's just vibey. I think it would look beautiful with this lip. The green looks really interesting. I don't know if I would really wear green, but it's really nice. I would be really interested in any and all of these, but they look really comfortable. They're obviously budge proof, which I love because there's nothing that I hate more than a creamy eyeshadow that you just like feel. You know, like when your eyelid just feels wet and then you're blinking and like your eyelid gets stuck to like the hood of your eye, the crease of your eye, I really hate that. But so the fact that these like dry down and they're long lasting, these would be great for a vacation. Like if you're going somewhere on holiday, you're gonna be in the water swimming. Oh my God, and this blue, uh, they just really, really look budge proof. And I am all about that. Like throw it on. You don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. Honestly, sign me up. I know that I have the lip oil in All Natural, but I have the classic lip oil and I really wanna get my hands on the jellies. When I look at this formula, it looks more like a thicker kind of lip oil. It's gonna coat the lips and it's gonna last a much longer time. It looks more hydrating than the formula that I currently own. So I definitely wanna get my hands on it. All of the shades look stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. I kind of think I wanna try the sheer natural one. Honestly, TBD, like they all look so beautiful. I would be excited to get my hands on any single one of them. I also do just want to mention that this kind of makeup looks good the longer that you wear it. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I find that like creamy formulas, such as all the products that I showed you today, like once they marinate and become one with the skin, like they just, it looks like your skin, but better. Like, hello, can you see how like juicy it is and my skin doesn't feel heavy. None of this feels like I'm wearing any makeup, which I think is just a testament to how amazing this brand is because cream products can be hard. Sometimes they sit on the skin and it just feels like you're wearing makeup, you know, and I don't, I love makeup, but I don't like to feel like I'm wearing makeup. But sometimes it just sits on top of the skin. Sometimes it can really exaggerate dry skin. It can kind of churn up any texture that you have, but this is just, like it kind of just glosses over the texture and then like marinates into the texture and hydrates the skin. And it's just honestly, like I don't even need to continue talking, like just look at my face. And again, I didn't powder and there's really like not a lot of texture, nothing has really moved. If you do powder, this will last longer. I will advise like don't touch your face throughout the day, especially if you're not powdering because you will remove the makeup. I'm a really big fan. I love this brand. I think if you haven't checked it out, like now is the best time to check it out because of the sale. Save yourself some money. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Have you tried any of their products? What do you think about Merit? Are you gonna get anything during the sale? If you do, be sure to shop my link. I would really appreciate it. But let me know, what are you gonna pick up? What are your thoughts? Is there something that you've tried that you don't like? Is there something that you've tried that you absolutely love? I would love to talk about it. Again, the sale is the 18th to the 21st and be sure to use the code PRIVATE20. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell button next to it if you have not done so yet. This way you get a notification when a new video goes live here on my channel. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.